The Islamic and Indian auction to be held at Bonhams on the 21st of April will include a remarkable collection of late 18th century Indian arms and armour from the personal armoury of Tipu Sultan and his royal workshops. Known as the Tiger of Mysore, or Tipu Sahib to his European contemporaries, Tipu Sultan ruled the Kingdom of Mysore in South India from 1782 to 1799. An arch enemy of the English East India Company, Tipu is thought to have said, it is far better to live like a tiger for a day than to live like a sheep for a hundred years. Tipu identified himself strongly with the tiger. Tigers and tiger symbols adorn most of his possessions, from his magnificent throne to the uniforms of his guards. It is important to note how fine the quality of craftsmanship on the objects in this collection is, which elevates them from weapons to highly prized works of art. His armory included cannons with tiger muzzles, guns and swords decorated with the boobery pattern, which is a stylized tiger stripe, hand weapons decorated with gold tiger heads, or inlaid in gold with tiger masks, formed by an arrangement of Arabic letters meaning, the Lion of God is the Conqueror. One of the most important lots in this collection is the sporting rifle made for Tipu Sultan by Asad Khane Muhammad, dated circa 1793-94. The most striking feature on this rifle is this finely carved crouching tiger with his stripes inlaid in silver. This gun is considered to be the finest and most important of any firearms which can be associated with Tipu's personal ownership. It was presented to Lord Cornwallis as the perfect gift from the looted treasury of the fallen tiger after the siege of Sirangapatam in 1799. The technological aspect of this gun is also worthy of note. The gun is configured to fire twice out of a single barrel without having to reload between shots. Also being offered for sale is a rare three-pounder bronze cannon with field carriage which was made in the gun carriage workshop at Sirangapatam. Each wheel is studded with tiger head bosses and the axle bosses are also in the shape of tiger heads. This historically important tiger's paw carved from wood once supported the throne of Tipu Sultan. It bears a silver plaque which references the capture of the tiger of Mysore in 1799. We have a very impressive and rare sword with a gem set pommel in the form of a tiger's head from the royal regalia of Tipu Sultan. The pommel is very similar to the tiger head finials, which were mounted on the corners of Tipu's throne. Two of the four throne tiger finials have sold at Bonhams. The Bowser finial in October 2010, and the Hope Wallace finial, which sold in these rooms in April 2009, and is currently on display at the Metropolitan Museum in New York. Many objects from this collection have been included in major museum exhibitions and have been widely published. Objects of this calibre only occasionally appear for sale on the art market, making this a rare opportunity to purchase objects fit for one of the greatest rulers in Indian history.